Hello YouTube, this is Anonymous Fortune bringing you yet another video in my fantasy map making series of videos. In this video I decided to show you the process for making mountains. I am going a little bit out of order obviously in this playlist. I think you will notice that some additional things being there that weren't there in the last episode. But I decided to kind of try and keep it, you know, relevant and in order. And so I jumped around in my stream and of course in this video I'm going to rearrange it. So to begin with, uh, you really want to find a good palette. I think a lot of these steps that I'm going to go into, the, into this video will be consistent across whatever you are working on in your fantasy map in terms of coloring. You want to find a color palette. So in this case I'm working on off of this color palette I found on Google Images. And basically there's two sets of mountains. There's one that are general, which is number three over there, and the kind of snowy mountain on number four. So what you see me doing here is I'm actually starting to go over the general process, but it's a little quick here. But basically I'm picking a color and you saw me just kind of generally color in the area of where the mountains are. So I painted over the mountains in the general undertone color, which should be fairly medium to what you are doing in terms of shadows and then highlights. So in this case, I'm picking kind of medium gray for the northern mountains where there's going to be snow and kind of more rocky terrain. And I'm picking like a medium beige, I want to say, for the other mountains. And then I start with the shadows. So here I'm starting to fill in the shadows and this is what is taking the most uh, work here. And by the way, if you're interested in this paintbrush set, I kind of talk about why I selected this brush set in my intro video and in the previous episodes. If you want to check that out, go ahead and do so for some more information. But the links to this brush set will be down in the description below. As always, the guy that made this is truly amazing and thanks to him. So yep, coloring in the shadows here and I think it's nice uh, to watch this process kind of fast speed for me because this took actually I think close to 12 hours for this whole process. I had a lot of mountains so watching it just th in this fast speed is actually kind of very satisfying and pleasing. So there isn't a whole lot to talk about. I'm going to let you enjoy some music until I get to the highlighting part. I think it's important to say actually before we get to the highlighting that obviously your shadow should be of similar color. I think I actually went a little too brown on this shadow, but I realized this when I was getting to the highlights. But I think a more neutral or a more grayish color tone, despite what your background is, is actually generally good. So for this, I chose a little bit too much of a brown here, and I think I regret it a little bit later, but it's all up to you. You can actually start working on a smaller section. I've actually already worked a little bit on the mountains in the north uh, west of the map here. So I thought I knew what I was kind of doing, but it's been a while since I've done that. And I think I selected a little bit of a wrong color. And once I got to the highlight stage, it kind of was weird, but I think it turned out fairly well. And then same thing for the gray. You just want to go a little bit darker than the mid-tone that you've picked. And for gray, I think it's a little easy. So here I'm getting into the highlights and for this you might have guessed you want to pick a lighter highlight color of the same tone for as your mid-tone and you just want to hit those peaks and hit the sun facing side of the mountains. So that is why I think it's very important to establish a sunlight direction very early on because actually in the landmark or not the landmark, I guess the city placement episode that I'm yet to record, I will go over the fact that not all your icons might have the shadows in the same direction. But if you're drawing out all your icons anyway, 
I think it's easier to maintain that, you know, shadow direction. So here I'm just going into the highlights and for some reason the highlights are a bit faster to complete, but still, this is, uh, this took a while, this took a while. And it took me several sessions to actually finish it off. So I think that's the most important parts. I think we talked about the layout of mountains pretty nicely in the previous episode. So if you want to talk about that, uh, or if you want to hear about that, you can check that episode out. I guess one more thing I could mention here is those rough edges. You don't really care about the rough edges in this particular case because we haven't colored in the grass. And I would actually recommend you to stick to this order that I'm gonna be going in this series. So start with the mountains and then go into the grass and other things in that um, order because it's gonna be a little bit more easy to blend. And that's why you don't worry about the edges here of those uh, mountains, mountain color that are protruding into, you know, the planes on the bottom of the screen there. Because you're gonna blend those out with the grass or whatever kind of terrain you're gonna have going. And that's, uh, that's a little bit easier to do than the other way around when you actually are working on the mountains themselves. So that's my advice to you. You can manage it, but I think it would be just a little harder. So another thing you kinda wanna leave out a little bit of space on the coastlines because there should be a little bit more green on the coastlines, but I think we're gonna make those adjustments in a later episode. In this episode, I just wanted to keep it kinda simple and show you my process, as well as a nice time lapse, I think, of coloring in mountains. I think my technique improved quite a bit from start to finish. So I will let you enjoy the rest of this video because I am enjoying watching it. And I think in the next video, we'll start talking about the grass coloring and more of like forests and the green filling uh, in your world. So if you have any more questions, please do let me know and down in the comments below. And I will be happy to answer you guys. If you wanna request a specific tutorial, I mean, I have a lot of videos left in this series, so check those out. If you're watching this much later than the release, obviously I should have most of those episodes up. But if you have anything specific you'd like to request, I know quite a bit of Photoshop, so do let me know and I will be happy to help. So I will leave you here. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of this time lapse. <laughs>